Welcome to People Today. At the age of four, James Harris brought his own uh, antiques. Since then, he's run a florist shop, written a book, and plans to become the country's youngest prime minister. But thankfully, James has found time in his busy schedule to be with us this morning, and he's here with his business partner and mother, Kay. Somebody remarked when you came in that you look almost Dickensian. Do you feel like you've come from another age, almost? I thought I'd come from the past because of my love of antiques. Mm. But I couldn't have come from the past because, you know, I, I, I'm so knowledgeable. Mm. So uh, I thought that I must have come from the future. <laughs> With every year that passed, the strange-looking boy was becoming more confident and the entire Harry's family were moving rapidly up the ladder of success. You, you talked about you wanted to change things and I mentioned as well that uh, you'd like perhaps a bash at Prime Minister. If that's the way I can get my theories over and if that's the way that I can uh, progress this country and make it what it should be, then I will have to be the Prime Minister. But something wasn't quite right. Well, yes, I mean, I've waited so long for this now. I, I, don't, I, I don't want to wait any longer. I've waited months now for that money and... Uh, then came the recession of the early 90s. The family business fell on hard times and James discovered that his famous Midas touch had suddenly gone into reverse. I'm sorry, I will have to take you to court because, um, I mean, uh, I have to, I've waited... As the recession got worse, the Harrys family came up with a cunning solution to their financial problems. They attempted to sue the government for £1 million for mismanaging the economy. That one businessman is so furious and frustrated with the government's economic mismanagement and its effects on his business and on his livelihood that he is suing the Treasury uh, in the High Court. The plaintiff is a Mr Mark Harris, a Cardiff businessman. I may say this is a wholly objective matter because Mr Harris says he has no political affiliations and no personal animosity towards the government <laughs> or any of its members. In the 1980s, I bought, you know, we all bought properties and we assumed that, you know, the recession had ended. But the recession did hurt my businesses and that's why we uh, tried to sue the British government. That's a really unusual step for somebody today. Well, um, you know, not really, not to, not to us, really. You know, because we knew that the government has mismanaged the country's affairs and we wanted to do something about it. But there's no way the government is actually going to let you win. Well, we got it accepted. But the problem is we lost, but we are appealing. That's a matter of opinion. Surprisingly, though, they lost the appeal. They've gone from rags to riches, but now the rags were beckoning them again. Things went from bad to worse until the day when James's father set fire to the family's fancy dress shop and was banged to rights for arson and insurance fraud. So, a jury decided, Mark Harris set fire to his Cardiff fancy dress shop and attempted to obtain £346,000 from General Accident Insurance. Peter Jacobs, representing Harris, said that the effect of the fire, whoever caused it, had been devastating. But in sentencing Harris to a total of five and a half years jail, 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 jail... jail.